Okay, so we've been really busy in the store. Haven't had a chance to update this. We actually went through quite a serious dyno bloom in this tank, but we cleared it up using some Dyno X. Okay, so we've been really busy in the store. Haven't had a chance to update this. We actually went through quite a serious Dyno bloom in this tank, but we cleared it up using some Dyno X. And actually, more importantly than Dyno X and solving that Dyno issue, we're going to change the whole idea behind this tank right here. So originally, it was going to be the most expensive Nano Reef tank. We were just going to throw at it the craziest most high-end equipment like we started doing with the Nero 3, Hydro 32. We were going to set up an Apex and just the best of the best of the equipment, which we may um, still do. Like we're going to go with good equipment because that's what we do here at Fragbox. We do only sell brand name, quality, um, very well-known brands that we use and trust and love. But now that we're starting to get into the corals, let me tell you, Matt, uh, one of the employees here in the store is taking care of the tank and he wanted to create something that's just very easy to maintain. He wants a low maintenance tank. And then we started talking and we do our staff meetings and anyways, we've kind of changed the approach when it comes to the corals. Instead of just going with the baller, most expensive equipment and corals, we're gonna try and create the easiest to keep 10 gallon nano reef. So I know we're a couple episodes into the series, but why we're doing that, it's very easy to go and grab a couple thousand dollars worth of equipment and then throw it in a tank and show off and throw a number on it and say, oh wow, look at, look at how expensive and ridiculous this small 10 gallon tank is. But that's not necessarily um, a tank that you would set up at home and something you would recreate. It's not practical. It looks cool and it's great for YouTube content and getting videos. But I think the channel is more about helping sort of new reefers, discussing topics, um, sharing, our experiences, how to keep reef tanks. So I think a tank designed that uh, around the idea that's very easy to keep is gonna be much more relatable and something that could be reproduced at home. So we're gonna leave the equipment as is, but now that it's coming time to start filling it with living animals, we're gonna go with really easy stuff. We're gonna keep it skimmerless and we're gonna try not to water change it. So the idea behind it is gonna be the easiest to keep nano reef tank or the easiest to keep maintenance free or low maintenance as close as we can get to no maintenance 10 gallon that's a very long sidetrack of what's going on with this aquarium but that's our that's our plan now moving forward with this tank so how are we going to keep it low maintenance we're going to primarily choose corals that don't need a lot of care special feeding uh, special care special anything so what does that mean typically it's going to be softy so we're going to still pick nice corals i think i got to adjust the light a, a little bit it looks pretty white right now at least to my eyes but kenya trees xenia nephthia toadstools we're going to try some gonies i just tossed these two frags in here so they're they're not glued yet and then decided to pick up the the camera and it looks like we may actually be uh have the beginning of a little um, cyanobacteria problem here on the sand. So might have to rethink the flow and, and address that, but very easy to keep soft corals that don't really consume too much calcium, magnesium. They're tolerant of less than ideal water parameters and they're just generally maintenance or low maintenance corals to keep. That's gonna be what we're gonna choose and we're gonna fill up this rock. We're gonna keep the rock structure. I think we're just gonna keep the one fish that we've added uh, very light on the cleanup crew just to keep the nutrients down so that we don't have to feed a lot, keep the nitrates down. But that's gonna be the, um, the idea behind the tank moving forward. So that's sort of our, our update and our changing of gears on this tank. And um, let us know what you think in the comments below. But uh, that's about it for today's episode of Fragbox TV. And we hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.